David Tritsky for the Bond Experience. Welcome back. Yes, we're still talking about No Time to Die. And when I'm filming this, it's just a, a handful of days until the new movie. So the excitement is really high. And the last time I talked to you about No Time to Die and style and fashion and sartorial kit, we talked about these pants from N. Peel. We showed them in all their detail, the combat trousers, pants, depending on what side of the pond you're on, it's fine. But there was a big question out there. All right, David, I get the, the rag and bone, I get all the parts, I get the watch, yes, but what is the guy wearing on his feet? And we have the answer, thanks to, thanks to, a box. Oh gosh, it's heavy, <laughs> as I slip. A box that I just received from Danner Boots. Now, in this box are the boots that he wore from the movie. They're not, the, they're not the screen used boots, of course they're not. These are the boots that Danner is now offering to people like you and me that want to emulate and connect and collect the Bond lifestyle. But we're gonna go into all the details. But before we show you the boots, before we do this unboxing, we've gotta talk about Danner themselves. So it's said that you don't put on a pair of Danner boots to sit around the house, and that's a really good point. They're made for adventure, exploration, hard work of men and women who wear them perform day in and day out, including the military. So nearly for about a century, Danner's crafted boots with purpose and integrity, footwear to equip those who choose the, what they call the unlikely path, those who cut fresh trails, those who pioneer, and Charles Danner, who obviously founded the company, felt the pull to the wild of the Pacific Northwest, drawn by the promise of opportunity in the rugged unknown. He came with a commitment to quality craftsmanship and a deep respect for the uncompromising landscape. Charles Danner came to the West to build the best boot loggers have ever known, an effort that resulted in a longstanding heritage brand with a renegade spirit, a spirit that proudly lives on in each pair of Danner boots they make today. All right, so those, those are some big brand promises. And we wanna, we wanna talk about those because once it was announced that it was Danner boots that he was wearing, some people hearkened back to obviously, this is another connection to James Bond. He wore a pair of Danner boots in Spectre. You probably remember it very well in Solden in Austria. He wears them, great action scene, great dialogue scene. And so we got to know the Danner brand. But you know, this Charles Danner guy sounds a little bit like an Ian Fleming, James Bond character about adventure and the unknown and the natural spirit. So we think it's perfect for Bond as a company. But we're not here just to explore the company today. We, we've, we've got a box. So, um, and I have not opened this, okay? I've heard, I've seen pictures um, about the really cool branding that they've done, but I'm always interested in that first experience. By the way, why do we do these unboxing? A couple people said, I, I don't get the unboxing. It's because this is an, these are investments. And so when you wanna think about what is it like when you know the doorbell rings and you get one of these boxes, what's the type of experience that you're going to get? Potential first impressions of a James Bond fan, which is exactly what I'm gonna do right now. Okay, simple box, we like simple. And oh, oh, oh boy, inside. We want to be very careful because I can see that there's nice packaging. Got a little return receipt. That's not going to be returned. Okay. So, wow. <laughs> very nice. So, let's get up close and personal. This is what we do. As you can see, this is not subtle. We, we don't want subtle when it comes to James Bond. So, the outside box itself, you are not going to be throwing this away. No, 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 no. So, you can see that it's got the no time to die. It's got the wonderful Danner emblazoned on the side. Uh, oh, and it's got the little pull tab, almost like, um, like uh, uh, what do they call it, a foot locker. This looks like almost like a No Time to Die James Bond 007 foot locker. So you can see right here, it's got the 007 logo here. That's it for branding on there. We don't need much more. Oh, it's got the uh, little copy right here, but let's, Look in the box. This is what we do. This is how we do it. Oh. All right, so I am doing this real time. We don't edit this because again, this is like the experience you'll have. Let me um, put that here. And now we've got some Danner 
tissue paper. Looks like uh, an exploration map. Very cool. And we'll peel that away. More. Oh, uh, Portland. So Portland, Oregon is where the company is, the flagship store, and where these are made. Where these are made. Oh. All right, here we go. Well, we've got to... All right, I'm going to go with the subtle first. Just bear with me. Um, okay, so this is uh, just we standing by the boots. I don't know why I made it sound like that. We standing by the boots. They, they actually did the correct uh, pronunciation. Uh, it's the warranty. Okay, so there we go. <sighs> but here are the boots. So these are the Tannicus boots, all right? And we're going to get up close and personal and describe these. But these are, wow, these are absolutely gorgeous. I got to give you my first impression before we start to get up and start to do what I call hero shots, all right? So let me come up and close. So here's my first impression. First of all, it smells really good. You've got the suede, you've got the leather. Um, we're going to get, again, we're going to go over all the nooks and crannies to hold the melted butter. You've got this, I didn't know this was coming with this. It's like a keychain, right? It's like a carabiner. It says Danner on one side, but it says 007 on the other. It's really subtle. It's like all this like subtle black. I mean, this is, this is camo. This is, um, this is a combat boot. I mean, this is a real combat boot. This isn't cosplay. Um, besides this little piece that can come off, I do not see any 007 markings. There's a Danner marking right here, but there's no 007 marking. We like that, right? We, we want to wear what he wore, so he didn't wear anything with 007 on it, FYI. Uh, but this looks quality. I mean, I'm, I'm just digging it. And you know what? It's not as big and chunky as I thought it was going to be. This is a little bit more subtle. Like right off the bat, I'm, I'm expecting to take out this long boot because we've only seen it in pictures, right? So I'm expecting this long, gigantic boot, and that's not what this is, thank goodness. When the world's favorite secret agent required high-performance military boots for his latest adventure, the filmmakers turned to Danner, introducing the 007 Tannicus, the special edition boot worn by James Bond in No Time to Die. Combining classic Bond styling with renowned Danner tactical performance, the 007 Tannicus is ready to save the world or explore in style. And for the first time, it's available beyond a secret agent's gear locker. And if it's trusted by 007, it has to be just right. So the 007 Tannicus is built on the same platform Danner designed for demanding military use. This understated colorway that you're looking at right now of the 007 Tannicus hides a plethora of undercover tech. And the 007 Tannicus arrives in a custom box designed with Bond details throughout. These are the definition of badass looking. I mean, when we saw Bond in these and we thought, okay, these are obviously combat boots. They're made for being rugged and action. But now to see them in person, it's, it's a different level of experience. And I noticed something when I was doing those hero shots. Uh, there is a really cool hang tag here. No time to die. Very, very thick. And it says special edition Danner. 007 Tannicus, uh, durable suede, ballistic nylon, breathable mesh lining, thank you, my feet thank you, cushion midsole, mm -hmm. custom Vibram outsole, worn by James Bond in No Time to Die. Now, besides this being great branding and it looks great and it's badass and it's exciting, these are important facts because this, this, was not sent to me to be put onto a shelf somewhere. No, 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 no. These are made to be worn. These are practical. I'm going to use the word. They're terrestrial. You're supposed to be using them in the outdoors and in the real world. They're, they're, they're made to be a part of your life. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to give you some facts on the boot, but then I got the outfit on. I mean, we're here to try these on. So let me just give you some facts about the Tannicus in general. So the Tannicus boots itself, uh, some of you even have some of them. You mentioned online, the Coyote, things like that. Uh, it, it's got some really advantageous 
features and therefore benefits. First of all, we talked about the roughed out suede. We talked about this ballistic nylon. Makes it very durable. You're gonna get it dirty, you're gonna get it wet, you're gonna get it scuffed, and it's gonna keep coming back for more. This lacing garage right here keeps these from flopping all over the place and it's got a flexible tongue that you can actually tuck the laces in makes it so you're not tripping over everything again this is a military boot it's got to be practical these hexagonal lugs are very important for grip uh, so you don't have slippage on shale on stone in a bad guy's layer you get the point um, in addition to that we've got a lot of light weightness going on. It's only about 39 ounces. That's really light. So this is not going to weigh you down or trip you up. But let's get them on. Hello. Hey, you thought I was kidding. No, I'm not kidding. We're getting down nice and low so we can talk about the boots as we put them on. First of all, uh, here are the boots again. We're going to undo the ties. Now, again, I think I mentioned to you that there are parts of the images that we're seeing, opened up really nicely, by the way, on the first run, that show Bond in uh, tucked and untucked, okay? But I'm going to do this tucked because if you remember these pants, you're going to see my mic in a second. <laughs> Hello, pants. They really cinch up nicely with uh, the zipper and the buttons. Uh, if you haven't seen that review, go check out my review on these pants. But we're going to put these in now. As I slip the boots in, when I say that I have a boot sock on, it is wool and is not overly thick. Wool breathes really well, so it's extremely comfortable. But um, I did go up about a half size. So this is a nine and a half. I'm usually a nine. And I did go up a half size in the boot. And that's going to be important because we are going to talk about fit. Um, well, we have to talk about fit. Of course we do. So let me just give this a nice little tie. And we're not cutting because this is kind of what you're going to be experiencing. I'm gonna put both boots on. I feel like Mr. Rogers. I'm putting on my sneakers, I'm putting on my cardigan, except that, uh, you know, I'm gonna go explode Safin or Safin's lair and call it a day. All right, so one of the things that I'll talk about as I'm putting this on is um, I'm loosening the laces a little bit, kind of undoing the top. There is a lot of flexibility, this is good, I'm, this is good news that I'm talking about this. There's a lot of flexibility when lacing and putting these on. And what I mean by that is the ballistic nylon gives. And I want that because, just sorry, tucking in the pants, because I don't want this to be overly tight. Now, as I'm pulling this up, you can see the great soles. You're like, David, this is way too many personal angles of you. We didn't buy into this when I clicked on this. But this is how we do these reviews. All right, so I'm just giving it a simple time, not doing anything fancy. You can see I've got the boots on. And let's shoot a different angle. Hey there. I think you want to see the boots, not me. So here you go. All right, so we've got them tucked in, kind of like you see in some of the action shots. And you also see them tied. Now, he had them tied, it looks like, if you look at some of the pictures, around. So he didn't have these big, cute bows. He did it a different way and then tucked it in, which is very much a military style. I also didn't put them into the top area just for speed. I just wanted to get these on so you see the profile. First of all, let's talk about the fit because I told you I got a nine and a half and I want to really kind of walk around a little bit. Please excuse me. It's my first time wearing them to see if there's any slippage. Uh, these are usually true to size, so you don't want them too big. That's going to be really bad, but you definitely don't want them too small. Your feet, when you walk in anything, are going to swell just a little bit. So you want to keep that in mind. And again, I'm usually a size nine. Sometimes with some things, I take in a nine and a half. And these fit very well. I would say right now, if I had a nine in a box, I would probably try them on, but they're not slipping. And I'd rather them be a little bit more comfortable as opposed to too tight. If you wear shoes and boots that are too tight, you will be in a world of pain. But here they are. Let's take a look at some of the details as they're on me, as they're connecting to the pants themselves. They look good. I mean, they look the part. And 
these are incredibly comfortable. I'm feeling that midsole cushioning when I walk. I feel almost like a little bounce or a little bit of a give, which is really important for me. I'll tell you, so I just cut, as you can see, and I've been walking around for about 10 minutes all around the basement, into my workroom, into the storage area, etc. I went out on the patio for a bit. These things are pure comfort. You know, they, they, we talk about boots and we talk about shoes. Is, is there a break-in period? There will not be a break-in period with this, I can promise you. So let's take a step back for a second and um, you could see kind of the whole outfit with the shoes, just kind of walking around. I'll even go back here so you can kind of see it in the alcove. Now, here's a question. Um, would I wear this outfit like this out into the wild? Now, these boots are gonna be worn. I will wear these with a, a, a lot of different things. Um, would I wear this whole outfit? Probably not. I, I, again, I don't like to be right on the nose, right on target. Uh, the boots are way too comfortable. They're gonna be used a lot through probably two to three seasons in, in my neck of the woods, which is Pennsylvania. But I always do this. I think about, you know, what is this really going to be worn with on a regular basis? So let's do a quick change into something, um, dare I say, a little bit more comfortable. Boom, just like that. All right, so now we're in the garage outfit. You know the scene, of course you do. And uh, look, we need to cool our jets for a second. He doesn't wear the Danner Tannicus 007 combat boots in this outfit. That's, that's, a, that's a review and an unveiling for another day, another time, another place. Uh, no, this is an outfit that I could absolutely see myself getting in the car, going to work, going to the store, going out, and wearing these boots. Because as you can see with these boots, they go perfectly. This is just a pair of, you know, Levi jeans. Um, they're not super skinny, they're a slim fitted cut, and the boots, as you can see, when I sit here, and take a look at this, when I, when I put these on my feet, and there's that, there's that wool sock again, when I put them on my feet, they go on nice and easy, and the jeans drape right over. There is no stretching because these become, these boots become very tapered when you lace them up the appropriate way, and well, Let's take a look. see here as I walk around that these are fitting perfectly. They look great. So the answer to your question of whether these can be worn with a lot of different things, you could pair these with, uh, well, really your imagination is your only limitation. All right. So I'm not taking these boots off because they're really comfortable, but I do want to thank Danner for sending us these for a full review. Of course, what we're going to do now is though wear them out in the wild the way they're meant to be, wear them often, wear them regularly, and we're going into the perfect weather for it. So there you go. There we have it. David Zaritsky for the Bond Experience. I'm sure we'll have another review coming in the future. We'll see you all real soon. Take care. Thanks for watching this episode. If you want to be up on the latest from the Bond Experience, just click on this subscribe and subscribe to our channel. You're going to get all the latest and greatest information plus some exclusive content. And by the way, speaking of content, here's something especially for you just because we know you. Talk to you soon.